in this video we are going to discuss LPF in sampling clearly. So, after sampling a signal, the sampled signal is passed through LPF. So, there if a sample signal is getting through LPF, we need to maintain a perfect cutoff frequency of the LPF that must be FM less than FC less than FS minus FM. This I already discussed with you. When any sample signal passing through LPF, the cutoff frequency of the filter must be like this. Otherwise, you are going to cut your frequency components and you are going to get some noise because of this filter. So, now coming to which co components, which frequency components that you are going to get at the output of your filter means, for example, for an LPF, if you are given G of T, G of T is nothing but sample signal which is the multiplication of m of t and your del of t impulse strain which is nothing but sampling the sampled signal if you given for LPF which components which frequency components will get at output of filter means you are going to get fs plus fm and fs minus fm like that fs plus 2 fm fs minus 2 fm fs plus 3 fm fs minus 3 fm all these are the frequency components available in this signal so here you are giving some cutoff frequency of this filter so which components in the range of fc that components only present at the output of the filter remaining components are going to filter in LPF whatever the frequency components that are in the range of this FC is going to get at the output of this filter. Now for example we will go for a problem if a signal x of t is equivalent to a cos 2 pi t plus b sin 4 pi t is sampled at 20 hedges and passed through LPF with a cutoff frequency 60 hedges which components present at output of LPF. So now we need to calculate FM first. So, in FM we are having two frequency component. So, we need to go for maximum frequency component. So, here by observing itself this will be mag maximum frequency components. If, if you uh, consider omega is equal to 2 pi here, then 2 pi f is equal to 2 pi and f is equal to 1 here. But coming to here omega is equal to 4 pi, 2 pi f is equal to 4 pi your f is equal to 2 here. So, by the knowledge of that fm is equal to 2 hedges and it is sampled at 20 hedges. fm you need to consider maximum of frequency components in the message signal. Maximum of 2, 1 comma 2 is 2 hedges. So, I consider 2 hedges and this message signal is sampled at 20 hedges. So, my fs is equal to 20 hedges. And here what are the available frequency components with this combination means. So, Fs plus Fm 20 plus 2, 22 comma 20 minus 2 18 hertz and Fs plus 2 Fm, 2 Fm means 4, 20 plus 4, 24 and 20 minus 4, 20 minus 4 means 16. And like that Fs plus 3 Fm, Fs plus 3 Fm means, so you are getting 3 to 6, 20 plus 6, 26 and here you are reducing Fs minus 3 Fm that means 20 minus 6, 20 minus 6 means you are going to get um, 14 here, 20 minus 6, 14. So here like that you are going to get fs plus 4 fm value all these are greater than cutoff frequency they given cutoff frequency of filter is 16 so that's why i'm not going to calculate you can see 22 24 fs plus nfm is going to increase that will filtered by this filter with cutoff frequency 16 and here you can see you are having 18 16 14 like this so, in this from 16 onwards you will get, you will get the frequency components from 16. So, LPF means low pass filter. 
the frequencies lower to 16 are passed the remaining frequencies that means the higher frequencies than 16 heads are going to oppose by this filter so here what are the frequencies presented at the output of filter means 16 heads 14 heads in the next in next case 4 to 8 that means fs minus 4 fm so 4 to 8 20 minus 8 you are going to get 12 and after that fs minus 5 fm so that means 5 to 10 10, 20 minus 10 you are going to get 10 to 2 you need to decrement so that means 16 14 12 10 and here um, 8 6 4 2 so these are the frequency components we are having 2 minus 2 0 heads so 16 14 12, 12 minus 2, 10, 10 minus 2, 8, 8 minus 2, 6, 6 minus 2, 4, 4 minus 2, 2. These are the frequency components we are having. We are having so many frequency components. We can see 26, 28 and 30, 32. So, you will get the maximum frequency components. But all that frequency components are eliminated by LPF and one of the FS minus FM is also going to eliminate. Why? Because the cutoff frequency of your LPF is 16. The uh, frequencies lower than 16 only passed as that is a low pass filter. So, the frequencies higher than 16 are going to eliminate or filtered by LPF. The frequencies which are in the range of 16 or below 16 are going to process by the LPF. So, finally for this problem the frequency components available at the output of LPF for 16 heads, 14 heads, 12 heads, 10 heads, 8, 6, 4, 2. So, these are the combination of frequency components that are available at the output of LPF.